She recalls her participation in the struggle for the country's independence from the colonial rule. Born in 1936, Margaret Kabinga, a widow, is a resident of Usakili Township on the Cobra Belt and she has lived in the area long enough that she cannot remember. She is among the beneficiaries of the constructed waterborne toilets whose project is being spearheaded by Nkana Water and Sewerage Campaign. When the president visited the township to commission the project, Mrs. Kavinga attended the ceremony not to witness but to seek his attention. Her efforts did not heed her expectations. <laughs> She owns one bedroomed house where she stays with her grandchildren, which she benefited from the housing empowerment project after privatization of the ZCCM. Her outcry is that despite having participated in attainment of what Zambia is today, she is not exempted from payments of services such as water, electricity, and land rates. For years, her tap has been dry and power disconnected because she cannot afford. <laughs> She has called on the government to look into the welfare of old people in the country, especially those who fought for the country's freedom.